Welcome back everybody to another episode of Try This. My name is Chris. Again, I'm here with D-Rock and Veronica. Welcome back to another special fan uh, surprise package. Everybody seems to like these, so we're doing quite a bit of them just to get them out of the way. Um, this one I have some really nasty stuff as well, with uh, just like the last one. I'm not looking forward to at least three of these things. So There's always a couple, there's always like two or three things that he always says that and it always makes me so excited. But every time we try something good, everybody's like, why don't you try something that tastes bad? It's funnier. So I was like, okay. So I got some really nasty stuff to try and uh, try not to die. Okay. Uh, I think after, after all we've had, I'm pretty sure none of us are going to die. Yeah. She can go first, I guess. Oh, God. First one right off the bat. Kimchi. Pickled cabbage. It yes. looks hot. Yeah, it says hot pickled cabbage. Uh. I'm out. Uh. The only thing about trying this first is like I think that everything from now on out, our mouth is gonna be like really hot. Not mine. Oh, besides yours. Yeah. Yeah, I have like a birth defect. I can't eat hot stuff. Like, my tongue literally like swells up. And... So yay! No oh. hot kimchi for me. Wow, that smells hot. Ooh, that smells really hot. I'm gonna burn. Um, I'm definitely grabbing this Mountain Dew and opening it. You might want to get you something to drink. Um, let's see. It's a Korean cuisine. Um, you can eat it either alone or mixed with rice noodles or grilled meats. So. I'll try it a, a little. <laughs> We're getting, getting flagged. <laughs> the flag's telling us not to do it. <laughs> You're Americans. Don't do it. Yeah, I said Korean and the flag like attacked us. <laughs> like, no, don't do it. Oh, it smells so hot. Well. Oh, I'm really regretting doing this. I'm trying. Uh, oh. this looks nasty. I'm trying a little piece. Very oh, tiny. God. I'm happy I can't eat spicy tiny. foods at this moment. Like, oh. just break it off. You gotta get at least a little bit of spicy. Yeah. I can't do it, so. Okay. <laughs> Okay, this is um, kimchi, pickled cabbage. Yeah. Ready? Here we go. Ah! <coughs> oh god. Oh, I'm so hot. How was that, guy? That was really hot. Yeah. It tastes like it's eating a worm or something. It was so yeah. rubbery. It tastes like eating a hot pickle. <sighs> You definitely have the pickled. Oh, y'all make that sound really good. <laughs> that was really hot. Uh, it's not the hottest stuff I've ever had, but it's just the, the flavor mixed with hot is not good. Mm -mm. I do not recommend that at all. Why did we have to start with that one for? Sorry. I always pick the nasty things. At least everything out from this point on will cool your mouth off. Yeah, that was uh, kimchi hot pickled cabbage. Yeah. Screw you, kimchi. Yeah. <laughs> good. Oh. What is that? Squid. Okay, this is little baby squids. Oh Tiny my God. octopus salad. Oh, the salad. Yeah. So basically, all it is is just baby octopus, octopi. Um, Are they even good still? All right. I've had this before, and I can tell you right now, this is gonna be super, super I'm, I'm chewy. Not, I'm not trying that. No. It's super chewy. Looks kind of like this is still good. Oh yeah. Maybe. 0425. Yeah, I just bought them today, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's something you can't really let sit around. Okay, so oh my god. They're so cute. Like literally, they are a uh, whole octopus. They are. I'm gonna show everybody. Full baby squids. That's a big one you got there. Uh, octopus. This is a big one. It smells good. It smells like teriyaki or something. Well, it's marinated in something. I'm not eating. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, so uh, it's gonna be chewy. Dripped. Mm, dripped. Oh my gosh. You ready? <laughs> this is uh, octopi. It's like sushi. That almost came back up. Oh, the smell of right. it made me want to throw up. It has a barbecue uh, <laughs> seasoning like sauce over top of it. The bad part isn't so much the taste, 
It's really the texture. Yeah. Because they're just so rubbery. It's rubbery, and you just keep telling yourself because you keep because I keep looking down the whole time I was chewing that. I was like, I'm eating the, a whole octopus. Yeah. Here. That's that's the only thought I had in my in my mind was, oh my god, I'm eating an octopus, and I could not get that thought out. And it. So we started off with two weird bad things. Oh my god. What is that? Oh. Jelly? No. Fig spread from Dalmatia. Dal is that how you say it? What's a fig? A fig is... It's kind of fruit, isn't it? Like a yeah. Fruit. You have spoon? How are you going to try that? Oh, what's it smell like? It almost looks like potpourri from the bottle. And... I mean, it's a, it's a fruit. It looks like jelly. But it's just pulverized like this. I don't... This is the uh, fig spread. <laughs> it looks like a uh, rubbery jelly. It's very sticky. Yeah. I got it on my nose. Alright, here we go. Tastes like jelly. The like grape jelly. Yeah. Like apple butter almost. Yeah. Apple butter with seeds and like some hard pieces in it. It was actually pretty good. Good job, Fig. Yay. Something good. Yeah, <laughs> really. Cover the... Cover the squid. Squid. Or the octopus. Please grab something good this time. Hey, Kellogg's. Ooh, this Finger looks roll. good. Cracker it's chips. Stop. Southwest Ranch. Really. Want me to try it? Yeah, something good. Something good. Need a whip. It was like... Like a... Mm. like a sour cream and onions. Do you have one? I got a little Pac-Man one. It's walk literally walk making my mouth water. Smell I don't like uh, ranch, so. That was good. All right, this is uh, Kellogg's Cracker Chips. They just look like uh, regular, look like uh, those baked Lay's. <laughs> yeah, the baked Lay's, what they look like, with, uh, you know, ranch seasoning on it. Yeah. All right. Pretty good. It tastes like a Pringle, pretty much, yeah. These are delicious. It's kind of wafery. Yeah, it's like a really thick, it's like uh, fluffy, Pringle. fluffy Pringle. Yeah. I like those. Yeah, those were really good. I thought it was gonna be like when I looked in there, I saw Kellogg. I thought it was gonna be like cereal or something. It tastes like el like those. Um, Future episode. Yeah. Elephant ears. Okay. Hey, All right, we have this. What? What? Why is that upside down? E hot. We just okay. found a. It's supposed, to, it's supposed to say the switch, but the V is upside down. I don't know if you can see that or not. Um, wow, that's weird. Uh, yeah, this is uh, the switch black cherry juice. He hot. It's uh. E-H-T switch. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they messed that up. Unless it's supposed to be like that. Well, no, because the E's facing the opposite way, too. Like, so, we need a f yeah. so basically, they really just screwed it up on this. Or yeah. it's switched over because it's switched. Get it? Wait. Yeah, but nothing else on the entire bottle is like that. It's just the word V. I don't okay. know. Yeah. Like you would think they would have like other letters. We should take us back to the company. Might give us a bunch of money for it. <laughs> <laughs> Sell it on eBay. <laughs> so, okay. Well, I don't have any more. That's uh, five. I don't care. It's like black cherry. I love black cherry. So. But the watermelon. Uh, uh. Wow, that's very black cherry. Okay. I like it. As soon as you drink it, you get black cherry, and then it stops. Yeah, it's like, boom, black cherry, done. <laughs> yeah. It's yeah. like, as soon as you drink it, all the flavor hits your tongue, and then it just disappears. <laughs> drink something good for a change. They're trying to tell us something. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, drink something good. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Uh, it has a really, really strong, strong black cherry taste. It's really good. Oh, that was good. Instantaneous, then stops. Yeah. <laughs> Mushrooms. Oysters? Oyster, Oyster mushrooms. mushrooms. Ew. Hey, I like mushrooms. You want to show that? Go first. Oyster and mushrooms. Looks like bark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, this is uh, Oyster Mushrooms. I'm not looking forward to this. I hate mushrooms. I like I'm them, so. just taking a piece off this. I'm not eating the whole thing. God.
Tastes like a mushroom. It tastes like a tree. <laughs> or tree bark. It's, it's a. Ah. Oh, weird. Isolation. That's a horrible aftertaste. I mean, yeah, like he said, it's literally like eating a tree. Yeah, I felt like I just like walked over to a pine tree and just bit into it. That's what I felt like. <laughs> you need to put some more good stuff in there, man. Uh, and I probably picked it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the last good thing she picked. It's a supreme protein peanut butter pretzel twist. Oh my god. Sounds amazing. I like peanut butter and pretzels. Kind of like a probably like those turtle peanut bars, you know. I still got mushrooms stuck in my feet. I don't hear it. I still got crickets stuck in my feet. <laughs> <laughs> the crickets were actually pretty good, though. Remember? Okay, would you, if you guys had to compare, would you eat the crickets or the octopus again? Crickets. <laughs> I don't like I don't really, I didn't really mind either one, so. Oh, God. Oh, wow. It's really, really. Oh, wow. It's really gooey. It looks amazing. Caramel, peanut butter. Peanuts, pretzels. Oh my gosh. Wow. It's getting all over the place. Yeah. Probably not supposed to break this bar. Very messy uh, bar. Ah. Crumble. Ah, I'm getting it everywhere. Alright, so this is the uh, Supreme Protein Pretzel Caramel Twist thing. Thing. <laughs> Alright, alright, here we go. I'm very messy. Really messy. Oh, so good. So good. It is really good. It's really hard to chew. My God, it takes a lot, a lot of chewing to get that going. It's too much work to eat. You can buy it at GNC. <laughs> That's where I got it from. <laughs> yep. So good. <laughs> oh gosh, that was really hard to chew. You know what? This was way too much work to try to eat. I mean, it tasted really good, but. That's some right there. <laughs> See, it's just too messy. You get covered in caramel. That's like because we broke it apart. Like yeah, I'm pretty sure you... if you just ate it, but peanut butter and and caramel and pretzels. I mean, it's just too. It's just makes our jaw hurt. Yeah, uh, it was good though. I mean, it was just way too much work to try to get try to get to that. Why? 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 All right, let's try the next nasty thing I have in here. Caviar. I like caviar. Uh, I have never had caviar, and there's a show I watch called Reckless Eating, which does food-related uh, items stuff like this. And they tried this, and they did not like it at all. They all almost threw up. Caviar? So yeah. So this is a black lumpfish caviar. And you know, it's the best crackers. We're just gonna take a little spoonful. All right. Super fishy. The best way to explain. explain. That's the best way to explain caviar. Yeah. Really? It's okay. super fishy. Okay, so we are going to be the only two to try this. Um, oh my uh, god. Fish. Is that eggs? Yeah, yeah it's just fish eggs. Oh, that's That's fish. what caviar is. That's why it's super fishy. <laughs> so as you can tell, it looks like very miniature like, blackberries. Oh, this is just straight fish eggs. I've had this before, so I'm not dreading it as much as you are. I don't like fish stuff. And the fact oh that my I'm god! Eating, <laughs> it looks like. It smells I'll like. I'll take this if we're done with it. Why don't you guys try it on those chips? Because we gotta try it free. We're gonna try it like this, right? Okay. Straight up. Ready? No. In here. Go. Mmm, fishy. Ugh. Salty fish. Really, 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 really salty fish. Wow. I keep finding more pieces. Um. That was really salty. Woo! It was, I don't know. The second it entered my mouth, I just, it couldn't, I couldn't take it. Woo! Like, I could not swallow that whatsoever. So it's salty tasting? Oh. Really salty. <laughs> Very salty. Okay, this is something that I'm not even sure is supposed to be, uh, like. Syrup for snow cones. Yeah, this is snow cone syrup. I'm not even sure if we're supposed to drink this straightforward or not, but, uh. uh sugar free? Yeah. How does that uh, work? It's made by Jelly Belly. Uh, Sugar-free green apple uh, snow cone syrup. That's almost disappointing. Oh! By your guys' reactions. Oh! Ooh! Tastes like the you know the fake banana. 
yeah. candy. That's exactly what that tasted like. Yeah, it does. It uh, it actually tastes like it has a lot of sugar in it, but it yeah. doesn't. Yeah. I think the company could be just lying. You know? It's it's yeah, like you know those uh, Wonka fruit or those Wonka yeah fruit uh, candies, the little bananas. Yeah. Exactly what that tastes like. Yeah. yeah. And it's green apple. But this would taste really good as on you know on a snow cone. Oh yeah. But uh, by itself. Whew. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I screwed the scissors I was like, whoa, that's powerful. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Out of all the stuff we tried today, I think my body is just like, no, don't do anymore. <laughs> you know, there's uh, there's one item left, and it is Happy Sassafras Instant Tea. And this is another thing where I'm not sure if we're, we're supposed to drink this straight or not. Uh, it does say shake well before using and refrigerate after use. It's but um, I don't know if it's supposed to be like a mixture, if you're supposed to mix this with something or not. But we're just going to try it straight out the way it is right now. So this is uh, hot. Happy Sassafras Tea. It smells like root beer. Root beer? It does. Super strong root beer. Wow. It's I have no idea what to think about this now. But yeah, I mean, like as soon as I, I expected like a really strong tea thing, or a tea smell. Refreshing as spring. <laughs> oh, you can only put like three teaspoons to a glass, it says. Okay. What? That is not tea. What is that? I'm, I'm so confused right now. Like, <laughs> okay, it, ha it has a smell of root beer, but it don't taste like anything. Well, I mean, it's like, got a hint no of root beer in it, but it says instant. What? It tastes like. Yay! It tastes like I don't know. It. It's that so is confusing. Weird. I don't. I've never had anything like that before. It's super. I feel like I just drank medicine, but that was weird. That was weird. Kind of made my tongue numb. Oh, I know what it tastes like now. She just reminded me. You know the uh, aura gel stuff you put on your yeah. teeth? Yeah, this what it, it tastes, tastes like. It tastes like aura gel. Yeah, yeah. It kind of made my tongue numb. Yeah, it tastes, it tastes like aura gel. So it smells like root beer. Looks like tea. Looks like tea. It tastes like aura gel. And it tastes like aura gel. By far the weirdest thing we've ever had. <laughs> Okay, what do you think is the best and worst from this episode, from this everything we tried today? Best, Kellogg's. Veronica? Uh, I have to go with the, the Kellogg's. This being the best? I actually think this was, was the best too. In that hot stuff. Um, it, I mean, it's okay, but it's not. I take it back, I like this. This was really, really good. It was just really hard to eat. This tasted the best out of everything. I would probably prefer to eat this one, though. Yeah. Uh, this tasted the best. I'd prefer to eat this one, though. The worst? You probably didn't like the caviar the most. I, well... Bill, you're going to click the squid in there? I'm, <laughs> the octopus was, uh... I don't know. It's just the fact that I was eating an octopus is really hard to take on for me. This was really gross. But I managed to get it down. The caviar, the second it hit my mouth, it was just like salt. Only salt. And then the thought that there's little fishies in my mouth. It was just really gross. Uh, so I had to like throw it up immediately. But I say best, worst. I say Derek should try the caviar on this cracker. <laughs> All right. You ready? Ready? Yep. How is it? Horrible. Horrible. So that's the Kellogg's <laughs> cracker chips and caviar. <laughs> well, actually, the aftertaste ain't bad. Like the salt kind of counteracts the ranch, and so I mean, you really, really taste the salt. That's more of what you taste out of anything, just because the caviar is so salty. But you can still taste like the ranch and everything from this. So I mean, it's it's not something I would constantly do, but then again, you know, I'm not about to throw up. Okay, so uh, thank you guys for watching another episode of Try This uh, Special Surprise Package with. Nasty, horrible stuff. Uh, still not uh, as bad as some stuff to come. So, thanks for watching. See you next time. Have a nice day. <laughs> <laughs>